this is the view This is the thought. <coughs> this is this this is the memory. Seven million people. thousand kilometers diameter something like sixteen thousand cubic kilometers or fifty thousand cubic kilometers which just this fraction of the surface is livable Plus, really inhabitable planet might be, you know, Alpha Centauri or Proxima Centauri, 24 trillion light years. Arthur C. Clarke, and who on earth the uh, communication satellite? He, he said, if I was such a smart person, you know, why didn't I patent this, this $40 billion idea? And, uh, Isaac Asimov, the man who wrote books in every classification, 650 books, 700 books. The, the time he passed on, he, he died. actually, Kurt Vonnegut, uh, Asimov's a famous humanist, prob probably pretty much an atheist, I guess, but he really, really believed in the human race, and I think that's why he dedicated so much of his life. He taught biochemistry at, at Boston Medical University. I mean, it's like one of the top medical university for like the, like the 40s and 50s, I guess, into the 60s, into the 70s, into the 80s, into the 90s, how many doctors in the world were taught by him? How people were inspired by him. He was generally credited along with his editor uh, for uh, 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 Joseph Campbell, not Joseph Campbell, uh, Campbell, uh, not Joseph Campbell, the, the, the mythologist, but Campbell is an editor of one of the science fiction magazines, Astounding or something. And between the two of them, they invented the three laws of robotics, the rational, non-Frankenstein robot. And of course, Frankenstein. It's actually funny because it, there's a Spanish version that's the only one. There's a, a more very, very recent version that actually has the debate between Frankenstein and, and, and his monster. And, and the monster's name is just the creature. And uh, it anticipates, you know, Wales, John, John Wales, W H A L E S, did the two films, the uh, Frankenstein and the Return of Frankenstein, with, of course, uh, an unknown actor that offered it to um, uh, John Carradine, who was the 
monster actor and character actor and kind of you know, things like that. And John Carradine asked, uh, "What are my lines?" And that beautiful voice. There's a very good episode of Twilight. Uh, not Twilight Zone. I think no Twilight Zone. I think no no uh, Night Gallery. And it's uh, called the, uh, the the Big Surprise. And it's just uh, anyway. So they told John Carradine that he wouldn't have any lines, and so this other British actor. Uh, Boris Karloff, who'd, he'd had an accident, and uh, this uh, one of the scalia lateral nerves of the jaw uh, controlling the voice, and that's why he always uh, had that lisp, and then that beautiful, beautiful accent, you know. I've got the brain of an 18-year-old in my room. And had that kind of lisp. And of course he was in just innumerable monster movies, and also as a scientist, and also as a very rational uh, and, and troubled person, which is a highlight of science fiction and fantasy and anything, is, is not to bestow strange powers and things, but have the moral dilemmas of a person that has this. Watching the, the Misfits series, very good UK series. Well, that's it. Rather somber, eh? On we go. Planet to save. Oceans, continents, penguins, monkeys, including humans, not the most friendly of creatures. Often rude and, and, and ill mannered, but you know, aren't we all, I think, early in the morning? Or we've had um, some, some something to drink, coffee, chocolate. Maybe tea, maybe, I don't know. Well, uh, there it is. A couple pieces. A couple ideas. We'll continue with our usual diatribe and rambling, ranting, uh, um, probably tomorrow. Later, foods. Uh, foods, F R O O D Z or F R O O D S. Generic term for friends from the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, Douglas Adams, um, uh, other, other science fiction people, and of course, uh, Marie Olson Stonecraft Shelley, uh, wife of uh, 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 Shelley, the greatest, one of the greatest poets of his time, best known for, among other things, Ozymandias. So, you should look it up. O C Y. Sort of a precursor of Murphy's Law. Nothing beside remains. Oh, cool. You know what to do. Do good stuff. Turn into fight. If you don't stop fighting, there'll be no jello after nap time. I mean it now. Not at all. Hello. Rene de